right in the way. Hey guys, welcome to my page or my YouTube channel if you're watching it there. My name's Kaz and today's video I'm going to be doing my top 10 meals to lose weight. Sorry if you guys get distracted by my dog in the back. I'll try and like sit in front of him but then I'm not really centered. Um, basically it doesn't matter where I kind of aim my camera, my dog will like sit where the camera is. But there are a few things I need to explain before I get into the meals. So the first one is, if you don't already know, I am on a high fat, low carb diet. This might look a little bit weird to you um, and you might actually not lose weight if you're adding carbs. But it does suit into my lifestyle and my preferences. And I thought the most practical video would be to be my top meals that I eat every day. Yeah, so meal number one is an omelette. You cannot go wrong with omelettes. I like to have mine full fat so I keep the yolk in and I also add things like avocado, bacon, mushroom, mayonnaise and stuff like that just because if I'm taking out the carbs and maybe I'm only having a two egg omelette it's more substantial if I add fats to it and also omelettes are really easy to whip up so yeah I definitely lived off omelettes for a very long time what I liked about omelettes the best was that they helped me to get into eating vegetables um, just because vegetables kind of beefed up the omelette or the meal a little bit more protein is also nature's um, appetite suppressant so um, instead of carbs you can turn to protein so the next meal that I like to have is my favourite all time meal and that is a paleo uh, pad thai or even satay. Satay has a little bit more nuts in it. I will also add links down below for recipes for each meal just to help you guys out. My next favourite meal is not really a meal but I do have it for breakfast a lot and that is smoothies. So for me smoothies are delicious and they really feel like a treat. I add clean lean protein, I actually have an empty cut in here because I need to pick up some new one. Vanilla is my favourite. This one is actually um, vegan so it's 100% vegetable based, it has no way. I need to eat breakfast so smoothie is perfect and it's refreshing, especially after a workout you definitely will crave the sugar and the coolness of a smoothie. The next meal that I love is not really a meal per se, it's more so a category of meals and that is mince dishes. I love mince dishes such as lasagna, spaghetti bolognese, pretty much all the mince dishes that you can think of, shepherd's pie etc. But instead of having them with carbs, I have them with vegetables. I'll have a link to a lasagna from Little Bird Organics and Fano Living, which is a great show. And there's also a spag bowl, which was done by Miss Grace Souffle, who is a friend of mine. And I'll link that in the bottom bar below as well. Next meal that I absolutely love is patio pizza. So it's pizza, but instead of the base, the base... It's either a gluten free kind of flour with say almond meal or even better it is cauliflower and I know that sounds really weird but it's actually really really good. I like to put a whole lot of toppings that you normally would on a pizza such as chicken, camembert, feta cheese, goat's feta cheese that is, spinach and some fresh herbs in there. It's so so good. This alternative still satisfies my cravings. So I'm glad that I can share that with you guys. And the next meal is not really a meal for most people, but it is for me. I have the biggest sweet tooth in the world, and so the meal is ice cream. But obviously it's not the ice cream that you guys are used to, probably with cream, a whole lot of added stuff. But what I do is I like to make my own sort of ice cream. So I normally use a fat, my favourite fat would be Greek yogurt, and I like to mix that up with clean lean protein. I add in some almond butter to make it like an, a peanut butter ice cream which is one of my favourite types of ice creams and then I will add like um, either some berries to make it sweeter, some cacao nibs which are delicious. It's not for everyone but I do love them. Some cacao to kind of make it more chocolatey or I will add some goji berries which are probably my favourite to add. The next meal that I absolutely love and I'm sure a lot of you guys and some of you girls will love it too and that is steak and coleslaw. Yes, I have steak all the time. Having steak by itself is not that bad for calories. Like you can lose weight just eating protein and vegetables. Um, the coleslaw which is pretty much cabbage, I like to grate a tiny bit of carrot in it because carrots are actually quite sweet and they're quite a dense vegetable. And then I add a little bit of mayonnaise in it to my coleslaw. By the way I have mayonnaise, cream, Greek yogurt, coconut cream, um, 
coconut oil all the time just because something is low in calories doesn't make it good for you and just because something is high in calories it doesn't make that bad for you and make it hard to lose weight because I've been losing weight off um, my high fat program and just by taking out carbs because they take longer to digest particularly for my body particularly as a woman who essentially we have 20% more fat than a man anyway it's just easier to incorporate natural fats into my diet um, rather than carbs which take a longer time for the body to digest anyway so yeah why wouldn't you say no to steak and coleslaw the next meal again is not essentially a meal it's kind of a category of meals and that is anything to do with cauliflower so I actually before I started on rapid fit I hated cauliflower to bits like it's when I eat it it's just stale chalky like uh, the roundness of it it just is not attractive to me at all so yeah then a lot of people started posting cauliflower recipes and so I decided to do a little bit of research myself and a little bit of experimenting and I have tried cauliflower bread which tastes very similar to like a zucchini loaf or even savory muffins um, because I like to add bacon and cheese and stuff and herbs such as rosemary oregano basil i just like to add a whole lot of um dried herbs ones from packets they're really cheap low in calories excellent idea if you're wanting to make something taste a lot better i also tried cauliflower rice and cauliflower mash which is similar to mashed potato it has the same kind of consistency and i prefer the mash better than the rice even though a lot of people kind of have the rice more i just think the mash is a whole lot more creamier and just texture wise it's nicer And it doesn't weigh you down. Like starchy food weighs you down after a meal. What I like to do with my bread is I like to fry it. So I like to cook it and then I like to cut it and then fry it. And it actually does feel like you're eating toast. Um, my next meal will probably be my favourite meal. Or no, it's not my favourite meal but it's probably my meal that I use all the time just because it's really easy and that is curries. I love spicy food. Like I, there's no way I have like a western palate. I love spicy 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 food house um, but I also add a whole lot of other spices I add cumin to give it that that Middle Eastern kind of taste um, I also sometimes add a little bit of paprika chili powder is a good one um, Cajun seasoning is really good especially if you're using chicken or meat it's delicious I use garam masala so I make chicken masala a lot for my fat I use a tiny bit of butter I will either use Greek yogurt or coconut cream it's usually coconut cream um, no I'm not an islander um, but I love coconut cream especially when you put it in the fridge and it hardens up like it thickens up a little bit and the next would be stuffed mushrooms so I like to stuff it with pesto I'm actually going to show you guys how I make my pesto basically it's spinach feta cheese and some walnuts it is so good I also like to add bacon and feta cheese to my mushrooms I really like portobello mushrooms they're my favorite they're the perfect size I normally have two if I'm having a meal and the next meal that I like to make is probably one that you guys already know about if you've been on my page and that is pancakes It has no flour, no sugar, no bananas, anything like that. It's like protein pancakes, but the way that it's made, it's kind of made like a meringue or a pavlova. Really light and fluffy. I like to add cinnamon to mine. I like to add berries and a bit of Greek yogurt. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of stevia over top. Um, the next meal that I absolutely love, which is not actually a meal, it is a, a snack or a sweet treat and that has definitely got to be the yum balls so yum balls have been really popular in the last year Julia and Libby have it on their website a lot of health people have it on their websites um, my favorite would have to be the rapid fitness one so I'll leave that in a link down below as well my last meal which I had to definitely recommend to you guys would be sushi so I have it the paleo way I have it with cauliflower rice chicken and avocado I don't eat fish unfortunately I really wish I did eat fish but I just can't stomach the taste of fish and I like to have it with a little bit of mayonnaise and it is so good. So if you guys didn't already realise the point I'm trying to get across is that health doesn't have to be a haphazard, you don't have to just eat salads all the time, you can eat your favourite meals, it's just being like a healthy alternative to them. I'm adding a lot more vegetables, so having a vegetables as the base and I'll see you in my next video, I'm actually 
planning to do my weight loss story this week but I'm very very nervous about it because it's quite a personal story. I love you heaps and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!